Alrighty, my adrenaline is killing me. I'm, I don't know, this wiring stuff has given me the best adrenaline rushes ever. I'm getting ready to start the Cummins for the first time on its wiring that I set up. I'm sorry if this is shaky. My hand is very shaky right now just because I'm very excited. I have just gone through and turned the key and tested for power to my um, oh, injection pump to the relay on that or solenoid, whatever it is. It's, it's also 3 o'clock in the morning, so getting a little tired here, but I think I got it. I'm about ready to try and start it for the first time as how it is. And if it starts, I'm probably just going to go in, take a nap for a little bit, and then wake up early again, and try and button up the last little odds and ends that this thing needs, because my golly, I, I, I hope we get to make it to round up with this thing. It would, it would make my whole year, I think, so. Just going to keep trucking along. I'm going to set up my camera here, and we will either catch glory or failure. Alrighty. I'm also testing the alternator at the same time. That's all wired in now. So, with any luck, that will even work. Suppose I could test for ignition power over there. So you can never test too many things, right? So I have a meter, and I like learning, so. Alright, so we got 12 volts there as well. All we can do is see what the hell happens. That's either going to be good or bad. Just really, really excited. It cranks over good, but my injection pump is losing power when it starts cranking, and I wonder if that's because I used the fuel pump fuse. Quick technical difficulties. I'm going to change the change the fuse location and hope that it works. So see what happens. Okay, successfully have moved my layers, so let's see what happens.
my god. I don't even know what to say. Now I am just ecstatic. I was able to move the fuel. So, I don't know. It must work for like a fuel injection system where key on, it primes it. And then when you crank it, it I, I don't know. It's weird. Not going to worry about it. I moved the fuel pump wire into the coil fuse wire because I'm not, it's a diesel engine, I'm not running a coil. So I moved that fuse down, or that wire lead into that spot in the fuse panel. Threw my fuse in there. She fired up. The alternator is even working, charging at 14.8 volts. That's just, it's fantastic. Um, yeah, tomorrow I got a little bit of playing around with the lights. I got to put the front blinkers in. The blinkers and brake lights do work. I got to make a bracket for the brake pedal to hit the switch so that the brake lights turn off when you're not, you know, applying the brake. But Crazy. Just crazy. One week. One week to wire my whole truck. I... It's not done, but it might... It, it's... You can start it without doing anything janky. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm going to pick this up in the morning. I'm going to go get a couple hours of sleep and... We're going to Roundup in the morning. We are going to Roundup in the morning. Oh. I can't believe I'm driving it right now. I can't believe how good this truck is actually driving. I bet to do everything on it, so I mean, it's, it should drive good, but it's absolutely amazing. The rear dip is leaking a little bit out of the pinion seal, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. So we brought some with us, or some fluid with us, we're going to see what happens. Looks like Dan's keeping up with me, I kind of left him in the dust when I took off. I can't even express, like, this Oh my god. This feels all as good as last year and I can't believe I actually get to film this one. Enjoy it. I don't know how much you can see of Dan back there. The old 50 should do good. He drives the hell out of that thing, so this is just amazing. I'll keep checking in along the way. Crazy to believe the old square body made it out of the garage and actually made it to round up. It's crazy. First maiden voyage.
I never made anything to close off yesterday's video, but I will say, the Cummins did absolutely amazing. You can usually expect there to be a few hiccups on a first drive, and the thing drove absolutely wonderful. The only problem I ran into is the pinion seal in the rear is shot. So that's going to have to get sorted out before I drive it anymore. And as in shot, I mean it was pouring out of there. So, oh well, it happens. But like I said, the truck overall drove great. Still fires up this morning. And <laughs> yeah, couldn't be happier. Still going to have lots of work to do on it. But I'm excited to go hook my car trailer to it and go mess around with it. And pick up a few more projects and haul a few projects around. And just all around just finally get to use this truck it's gonna be exciting lots of work to come on it still but this has been quite the project so far